What's going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Quick video for you. This is going to be a two-part video. Uh, what we're going to be doing is painting these two fenders. They're already painted, but we're going to show you that you don't have to prime parts to paint over it with another color. So we're going to show you one fender we just spray a gold base over and then another fender where we prime it and then spray a gold base over. We're going to be using the Spray Max Aerosol Can Primer. Uh, and then we're also going to be doing a few different things on this door here, which I already did. So continue watching this video. It's going to be a two-part series. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below, and click right over here to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual. You're going to learn a lot, so keep watching. I'll talk to you soon. All we're gonna do is wet sand with 400 grit. You can see I got some Kovac sandpaper. Uh, as long as it's a wet type of silicone carbide sandpaper, you're gonna be fine. I like to buy my sandpapers in the sheets, eight by 11 sheets, and then I cut them down to quarter sections like this, and then I just fold them up, palm size, right? Perfect for wet sanding. Again, when you sand, you don't wanna have your three fingers like this and just sand at one spot. You're gonna get grooves. Pretty much use your entire hand, your palm, kind of like this, right? And then you could just wash it down. So something like this is gonna go very, very quick, right? We'll just wash it down like this. And the key is just to get it flat looking, right? We're just gonna flatten it out. And if you see the white, okay, you see how it's white? That means you're sanding clear coat. Okay, so that's a, another quick way to find out, to see if you're sanding over base coat clear coat or single stage. Single stage has no clear coat on it and the color will be coming right off. So if this was a single stage, you would just see red coming out on your hands right at this point. But again, if we sand too much, if we cut through the clear coat, you're going to see the red come out on your hands. So that's because you're getting into the base coat, right? So. We know that this is base coat clear coat, right? Let's just go ahead and wash this fender down quick. And we're not gonna worry about the dents. There's a couple of dents in here. This is not a dent repair video. It's mostly finishing, okay? So later on, we could probably fix the dents in here and repaint it. This is pretty much done with 400. All right, that's how quickly you can actually get it done. All right, this is ready to spray base coat over. All right, and uh, a lot of people are like, hey, what color can I spray paint over it? Well, it depends on your final color. You could pretty much put any color, you know, over a base coat, especially if you're going darker, you're not gonna hurt it. Now, if you're shooting white over this, you're gonna wanna make sure you spray a few coats to cover it, all right? White will cover over red, all right? Just make sure you put enough white on it, okay? Um, it can be done, I'm not saying it's the best way to do it. If you're spraying red over it, that's even better. If you're going black, that's better. If you're going with a dark blue, that's fine. Um, okay, I'm just showing you two ways to do it. You can spray directly. You can use this as a foundation, base coat, clear coat. Spray directly base clear over it, all right? Or you can prime it and then do the same thing. We're gonna show you those two steps in these videos. Right over here, all right? We'll just pull that off. Make sure you shake this for about two minutes. Then we're gonna go ahead, flip it around, bust this piece, push it in, and then shake it for another two, three minutes. And then you just shake it. I shake it like a Polaroid picture. Put your ear to it and you can hear fizzing. You know it's working. Another thing to note is there's a little adjustment here at the top. Okay, one way is max primer coming out, one way is less primer coming out. So just keep that in mind. You can test it out, go one way, see how it shoots, go the other way, see how it shoots.
But what we're gonna do now is basically put some silver base on this. Hopefully I have enough silver base. It's gonna be very tight. I don't know, we might have to stretch it to another color. I wanted to use silver because we can use some candy, um, but I might have to paint some different colors here. So we'll figure it out. Um, but the key is to paint these two fenders the same color because I wanted to show you that you could paint base coat, any color base coat over a base coat and have a good finish, have a good result. Or you could spray over primer and have a good result as well. So I just wanted to show you that you could spray base over either or, okay? As long as it's a nice clear coat finish like this, you can spray right over. It's actually a good foundation to put base color over, sanded clear coat like this, right? And then this door, maybe we'll do a totally different color. We're gonna show you some demos on the Atom spray guns. We're gonna show you a demo on Spray Max Glamour Clear here, doing a fender. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get cranking. If this is a, a customer job or a job that's supposed to be a pro, a pro job, we wouldn't let this slide here. You can see that there's some primer that wasn't really blocked out in here. You could see kind of uh, the, the, not the overspray, but when you were spraying with the primer, little drips and nabs kind of of primer. Because when you spray with these aerosol can nozzles, they're not the best nozzle, and you'll get like specks of drops in it as you prime. That's, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Okay, and that's what happens. You gotta make sure to sand them flat. All right, and that we didn't do here. So don't expect uh, the ultimate $2,000 paint job here. Uh, if you look down here, this is the undercoating and you can see how, you know, it's orange peel. Another thing you could do is really load it on with 2K primer here and then block sand it flat, which will get you this type of result. Okay, um, if we see in some areas, you can see that it is getting to be like that. If we continue to block this out, right, we might have enough primer on here to basically get it to a glass finish like this. All right, some areas in here looks like we did, but instead of doing that, I like to basically sand it off and take it down to metal. So instead of filling and covering the, uh, the undercoating, like in here, I like to cut it down, right? Put our epoxy primer, block it, 2K primer, sand it, and then we're good to go for a flat finish. And that's the demo that we're doing in this section versus here. So when we paint here, you're gonna look, it's gonna look orange peely because it has the undercoat section here. <clears throat> here, we took it down with 80 grit, right? And then we basically put some 2K filler primer on it, flatten it out, or we're gonna paint, we're gonna show you what it looks like uh, before and after.
right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the fender that wasn't primed. It was actually red and we painted it. This one we primed and we painted. If you can see, the colors are identical. All right, you do not need to prime if you don't want to. If you have a good clear coat foundation, you can easily spray any single stage enamel or base coat clear coat system right on top of sanded 400 to 600 grit wet sanded flat clear coat, all right? If you have peeling, then you're gonna have to feather that and prime it if you have peeling areas in the clear coat. But if you have straight, nice, clean clear coat like this here, we could sand this with 400 and paint it any color we want. This was the prime version. I dropped it and I got a scratch on it, no big deal. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and also click right over here if you wanna learn more about auto body and paint and get a free 85 page auto body book. Check out the seven day auto body training series and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.